Yo, what's poppin' playboys? Welcome to today's video. A lot has changed to Dusty. Well, not a lot. She's just missing her front lip. If you guys don't keep up to date with my stories on Instagram, you guys wouldn't know that I sold a front lip. I'm trying to get something else. The lip I actually want is the V-Spec lip, but I guess the guy who makes it doesn't do it no more because of COVID, so I'm just a lipless right now. Uh, I ordered a lip, but I don't know when it's coming. It takes 10 to 14 days of processing and then seven days of shipping, which is like, it doesn't make sense, but I can't complain. So hopefully I get the lip pretty soon, probably like next week or a week after that. But yeah, man, Dusty been rolling around lipless. She looks so ugly without a lip. Well, not too ugly, but still ugly. What we're gonna be doing in today's video, you guys, we're gonna be gutting Dusty. We're gonna be taking out the rear seats, the passenger seats, and uh, actually weighing them to see how much they actually weigh. Because uh, I am going to the track today. Today's Saturday, there's an event. And uh, I wanna see like, what type of difference I like? What type of difference it will make just me taking out the seats and uh, losing some weight? Because apparently the passenger seat is like 60, 70 pounds, which I didn't know. And the rear seats are like 50 together, so that's like having an old, a whole nother person in the car with you. So let's see what that does. And uh, plus, I got a toolbox in the back that's at least 100 pounds too. So yeah, man, that's like having three people in the car. But we're gonna see what that does. Hopefully. It does like something and you know makes a difference. I know it does because like I, I see people gut the cars and I see the difference between it. So yeah, man, let's see what she does. So I already got the rear seats pretty much unbuckled. It's real simple. It's kind of hard to show you guys what one hand, but literally is this tab right here. All you're gonna do is pull back on it and lift up and the seat pops right up. Well, the bottom seats. So what I'm gonna be using is just a extension. I think it's like a six inch extension with a 10 millimeter. And uh, what you guys wanna do, you're gonna push it down on your seat like right here. Hopefully it focus, but I'm pretty sure it's not it's too dark. But once you push it down your seat right there, there's gonna be a little bolt right inside. I wish I could show you guys, but it's literally right there. And once you take that out, uh, and you take out the clips under the bottom of the cushion, the bottom seats to be, you know, ready to come off. So let's do that real quick. And to remove these parts, it should be pretty simple, I think. It should be this bolt, that bolt, that bolt and that bolt over there, I think. Let's see, let's put the seat down real quick. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it should be those. All right, let's take those out too. All right guys, so I was trying to figure out what bolts you take out to remove the the uh, like the back seat covers, I guess. And uh, it's these bolts. I was taking out the wrong bolts. I was taking out these bolts. It's this one. So the ones that look rusted, the ones that are not that are not blue, like your uh, like your chassis or whatever color your chassis is, don't take those out. Take out these. I think it's one. Yeah, one right there, and it's one right here, and there's one more over there. And oh my gosh, bro! I did not know this is like how dirty underneath these seats are. This is disgusting. It's a good thing that I'm actually taking these seats out because I get to clean this and uh, actually make it look nice again. Cause this is really nasty. It's sticky down here. I don't know what the last owner did cause I rarely have anybody in the back seat of my car. I don't know what the last owner did, but yo, bruh, it's dirty. One thing I forgot to tell you guys when you're uh, removing your back seats is that there's gonna be a bolt right here. Like right, come on focus bro, I know you see it. Yeah, right here. Uh, it's gonna be for the panels, the side panels. These right here, 
when removing those all you have to do is take out the bolt and lift up and it'll pop right out and when you put it back in you just make sure you put it back in these grooves and uh, you're fine so yeah man this is how the trunk well the back seat looks now it's gutted but completely filthy so i'm gonna clean this up real quick uh actually i'm gonna clean this up after i take out this one because yeah man it's, it might as well do everything at once instead of you know wasting time and doing one and then doing the other so let's just take out this seat right now all right you guys so let's do the passenger seat so basically what you want to do is going to be these two covers on top like that put your seat all the way up like just like how i have mine and what you're going to do you're going to pry both these sides from like grabbing from the bottom like right here and just pry off it's easier when you're doing it with two hands but one hand's kind of pain in the butt but yeah you do that and these bolts right here are 14 mils so hit a 14 mil and uh take out those bolts take out the two in the front after you take out those two 14 mils what you're going to do is unplug your airbag now this step right here is really really important for you guys to listen to i don't want nobody to dm me saying i messed up their car or anything this is not my fault it's your fault for not listening what you're going to do you're going to disconnect your battery take out your negative make sure your car is completely dead before you do this and then you're gonna disconnect the airbag for your uh, passenger seat because if you do it while your battery's in or your battery's connected it's gonna have a light that's gonna stay there for forever until you go to the dealership and get it recoded and blah 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 so make sure you unplug the airbag before you actually try to try to take off your passenger seat because if you don't you're gonna get that light and you're gonna be very mad that you didn't listen to me boom there you go you guys pretty much done uh these are the clips that i was talking about with the plugs to get the airbag one out you literally just slide this this black piece down like you could barely do it with one hand but you slide those two down and then these are just regular pull tabs put the push the tab down and pull out and uh yeah so pretty easy so what i'm gonna do now is uh take out the seat because this seat is big as hell and i heard it's really heavy So I'm really interested on how much these stuff weigh. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just carry everything over here, lift everything up as I step on the scale to see how much everything weighs and just do the calculations there. But uh, yeah, so let's get a base weight. I think I'm like 205 or 208, so let's check. Wait, let me take out the shoes. Let me take out the shoes. Let me take out the shoes. What I'm doing, what I'm doing. Yes, sir, there we go. Let's see how much we weigh. Well, I weigh 209. All right, let's see how much I weigh now. This chair. You guys, I am not lying when I say this chair feels like it's probably 60 pounds, 50 pounds. Or maybe I'm just weak, I don't know. Wait. Okay. So with the chair, I weigh 255.8. So let's do the math real quick. So you guys can see, cause I'm not good at math. So 255.8 minus 209, 46.8 pounds. I know I wasn't lying when I said this chair weighs about 50 pounds, bro. 46.8 pounds. Dang, bro, the passenger seat heavy. Let's see what the back seat weighs, just the bottom piece. Dang, the back seat's kind of heavy too. Well, not as heavy as the front seat, the front passenger seat. So that was 22, 222.8. Let's do the math, 22.8. Minus 209, 13.8 pounds. Wow, so that's crazy. I should be writing this down, but I'll probably just do the whole total in the video as I'm editing. So, 
Yeah, that's crazy. 13 pounds, 13.8 pounds, almost 14 pounds. Now let's do half of the back seat. 20, 227.4, 227.4, 227.4 minus 209, 18.4 pounds. So this is actually heavier than this. And last but not least, this little small piece right here should literally weigh less than five pounds. I'll be surprised if it weighs more than five pounds. Wow, that's crazy. It weighs, well, I can't tell you how much it weighs, but that was 217 minus 209. This weighs eight pounds. That's crazy. I thought this would weigh less than five, but it weighs eight pounds. That's really crazy. Oh, wow. Dang, I saved a lot of weight just by taking out these seats, bro. Especially the passenger seat. The passenger seat is almost 50 pounds. That's crazy. And I already have my rear tire and my other stuff out, so that's crazy. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys how much my uh, toolbox weighs. So this is my toolbox. Let's see how much it weighs. basically another passenger seat in my car this is real deal another passenger seat in my car dang I just saved 200 I just saved almost 200 pounds just by removing all this stuff wow that's crazy and I didn't even do the spare tire I didn't do those things because I already have them out and I don't feel like taking them out just to lift them up but yeah man I I, I think we did a good job losing some weight Hey guys so this is where i'm in off the video man wow it gets really really loud in here now i wonder how it sounds when the car is on it probably sounds crazy I'm not gonna do it yet though but yeah this is where i'm in off the video stay tuned for the next video because the next video is gonna be when i'm at the track and uh testing out all this stuff i did to dusty man like she's really gutted that's crazy it, it's it's weird because like just sitting in a car feels lighter but i don't know like like how i explain that but it just does but yeah, man, that's where I'm out of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And your boy's out. Peace.